Welcome back. I have successfully found the meditation session. And <clears throat> I was surprised to see that I was not alone, that there were about 30 other members of the grounded few who had showed up before I had even gotten there, or who had arrived before I had even gotten there. And they all looked about the same as me. They all looked sweaty, hot, slightly aggravated, and it didn't take a genius to see that they too had thought that it would be a far shorter distance than the, what turns out to be, four and a half miles we had to cover to get here. Now, for someone like myself, that's fine. That's completely doable. But seeing as how the age range was from someone around my age to late 60s, those who were in their late 60s were finding it a little bit more difficult to cover the amount of land they needed to cover to get to this session. So, when Dr. Avery showed up, she always shows up in wonderful style. She put her arms in the air and welcomed all of us and seemed exceptionally happy to see us all. And she could tell that something was wrong. And so, like all good leaders, she addressed it right off the bat. She asked us what was going on. We told her that we were upset, that we had to walk the distance that we had to walk to get here. It doesn't feel like this needs to be that secretive. It doesn't feel like this needs to be that hidden from plain view. But that almost gives it a certain exclusivity. Uh, it makes you feel a little bit special that you are far removed from that which is considered normal life. But also, I struggle with this part. She said that the walk to the session was a part of today's lesson. And today's lesson was another lesson of a step you can take in the right direction to become grounded. And this step was focused on patience. And her idea was that if you can master your patience, then you can rid your life of frustrations. Because all frustrations stem from our inability to be patient and just to be satisfied with what is. So we were all given instructions. We were told to get to this exact set of coordinates deep in the woods of Delaware, and so we did exactly that. Uh, well, I shouldn't say we did exactly that. Not everybody ended up showing up, which also helped her deliver a very important message today, which is, we persevered. We expressed patience, though we were frustrated. We showed that we had patience, we showed that we had motivation, we showed that we had drive, and we showed up. And so for the 30 people that did show up today, they're being rewarded with a lecture by Dr. Avery. And I've set up my cameras, they're actually recording right now. I decided to step aside and film this. But the point that she was trying to make is that there were more that were supposed to be here, but they decided to turn back, just as I was considering to turn back. And that, she says, is what separates those who want to believe from those who truly believe in the process of becoming grounded. So I guess she's considering me lumped in with those who truly want to believe. Um, but like I said, right now I'm just filming her lecture, I'm filming her meditation session, and it is on patience and how patience can completely change your life and is a step in the right direction to finally becoming grounded. So though I'm not completely sold on all of this, I'm happy to be a part of something that feels bigger. Because when she speaks, it feels important. It feels relevant. People listen. You should see these people. They have their eyes locked on her like you wouldn't believe. I, I shouldn't even say eyes. It's almost as if their entire being is completely intertwined with hers when she's speaking. She has a way of capturing an audience in a way that I've never seen anybody else capable of. So, though it was a frustrating journey to get here, it did pay off. And it goes to show that patience and perseverance are sometimes the only tools you need to get to where you want to be. And that's that. Till next time.